AJ, the CEO, recently made a video on how to make a shared countdown timer in ProPresenter 7 for in-house and stage display for live and live stream. And uh, I thought I would show you how to do it using OBS and a little program called Stream Timer. Uh, we've been doing uh, this in for, for a couple of months, doing a, a shared countdown. Uh, and uh, we've been just using OBS. And uh, let me just show you. Uh, sometimes we just basically, one time we did a a PowerPoint. Um, we actually created a video where I set up some uh, timing for the PowerPoint and used OBS and used this technique I'm going to show you with the stream timer to make this video. And the video basically goes through and it will automatically uh, time through the video, the uh, screens and show the quiz questions. And then the timer just keeps going down uh, for the whole amount of time uh, for the pre-service. And then you can basically show that at the on the projector up at the front or the, the stage screen, etc. And so uh, let me just show you um, what we do. Normally, what right now actually we have, I'll just uh, switch here to our welcome screen here. What we have going on right now is very meta inception like because we have people tuning in, watching people, watching our pre service. And I can basically turn on, we have a couple of different ways to set this up. Uh, one, we can turn on it, just the video playing here with this TV video. So we can turn that on. And so we can have the whatever is there uh, showing up there. And then the screen timer is a screen timer app that we have. I'll leave a link in the description uh, to where you can download this app. And it's just a screen timer app. And all you need to do is just set the amount of time that you want to go for. So if we start the timer now, you'll see that the timer changes there. And so it will continue on to go like so. And so you can set it up. This is just one that is a video that you can set up. Uh, the other thing that we can do, this is very uh, versatile setup. We can actually, if we were to stop this, we can actually, there's a VLC playlist that we can do. We go into the properties of this. Then we have a couple of videos that we have from one of the other people on our worship team that recorded these videos. And so if we click on that, then and then we can actually decide, okay, we're going to uh, use this uh, version for this week. And then we can have that set up. And then we can have everything go like that. The way that it actually works is that the I got the uh, background image, which is the welcome background video that's just looping through here from Envato Elements. And I'll just stop this here. And uh, if I just stop this, oh, that's the wrong one, sorry. Start that going again. The playlist, if we stop this, then the black area there is actually green screened out. And so if we take a look at the uh, welcome uh, background here, if we look at the filter here, then we have a chroma key filter. And so you can see that that black area is just going to show the video there. So you can basically set up the video of whatever you want to do. And the one thing that I thought you could decide if you wanted to uh, run announcements, you could run whatever you wanted to uh, on this right now. We're just using 
this looping video of people watching the uh, screen there. Uh, so you can just set that up. So the key thing is for this timer. And so the screen timer here is uh, just a text box that is there. And it's called um, the timer, uh, which is, which one is that there? That's called countdown text. And so what you need to do to set that up using the stream timer app, let me just uh, go back to the app and I'll just uh, close that down. And then it'll stop the timer there. But if we look at the uh, properties of that text box, the key for that is to actually go in here and instead of getting the text from what is in something in the in the box to enter the text for a normal text to uh, have that there you want to click read from a file and so what i generally do i have uh, all of my resources needed for streaming in a folder streaming resources i have an app folder so i have app streaming resources so if i go here to the uh, folders here and I go to my PC and I go to here and I go to my streaming resources. Uh, now the app is very, very simple to install. It's just a zip file. You can just download the zip file and extract it. And so I just extracted the whole app to this streaming resources folder. And so what you'd first need to do is just run the app once and then it will create this uh, file called timer.txt. Once you've done that, then you can go into OBS and you can say read from the file and do go to that timer.txt. So you're just hitting the timer.txt as the source of the file. And then it will, whatever is in that file, if you actually opened that up, it would basically say 606 in the file. And the what basically the app does is it does a countdown starting from the time that you want to do at the beginning until it counts down. And so you see when it started up, it was at uh, 00 when you first started up until you want to click start. If we actually click start now, then you're going to see that the time started from 9 and 10 and counting down. So that is how the app actually works and it's very simple to get it to work. So on a Sunday morning, I'll just start up the stream timer app, start the amount of time for however long we want our uh, timer to go and then start that. So that is how we do that. The other thing that we do is on our screen, uh, we have a couple other things. We have a, a chat screen that we can bring in any chat comments that people may want to uh, in, in, in the pre-service. If they say, hello, good morning, et cetera, uh, then we can select some of those and those would then show up in this area here. And so that's something uh, that would help to engage people uh, in at, during our pre-service time. And then that would actually show up again with the shared screen uh, up on the front of the sanctuary in the projector as well. So that's basically how you can set up the screen. Now, in order to get the uh, shared screen over to our projector, we use Easy Worship with the NDI. And so in order to have the have this screen come in, we have our the NDI plugin. Uh, just like AJ said, we have the uh, NDI plugin that is installed on the uh, tools here for so we have the NDI output settings and we just have the main output going out to that. And then 
I will show you how we basically pull in using Easy Worship a feed of the OBS NDI. One thing, a uh, little tip that I did find for actually getting the video uh, to show like it looks like it's exactly on the TV, um, it, it helps with setting the uh, order of the uh, items on the screen here. And for instance, if you were to take the playlist, you can see how it's basically uh, a little bit over. I was working hard to try and get it to fit on the screen so it looked like it did that. If I move the actual uh, layer TV video up, you would see that it doesn't look like the. it's actually on the TV like that. But if you move the video down below it, like so, then it looks like it's actually on the TV like uh, like it should be there. So uh, that's a good way of uh, tip to, to do it that way. So in order to bring in the feed for uh, the projector, we're going to use, we use Easy Worship. So we start Easy Worship up, and then we're going to go in to the media tab here, we're going to go to feeds, and then we're going to add a feed, and then we'll call it live stream. And then the source here for the input device is going to be desktop or the OBS, whatever the source is for your NDI feed. So this is going to be the one for the source there on that. And so we'll save that there. Um, and then let me just start in OBS. We'll start the uh, actual feed there. So if we go back to Easy Worship, you can see that there. Then we're going to add this to the schedule. And you can basically add it to the schedule as many times as you want to have it so that you can, if you wanted to show the live stream, uh, portion uh, at the beginning, at the end, wherever you want to put that, you can just put that feed at, in appropriate time. And so now we're going to just click on the live stream there. And so you can see that. So now if I'll show both displays, uh, because the way that it's going to work is it's going to show the second display there. And so we have here this is the right side of the screen here is the one that it would be the one that is what the projector is seeing on that. And so we have our uh, screen going with the countdown timer there. So people up at the front can see or in this on the stage display, wherever it is, and it's all uh, synchronized there. And then we have the uh, recorded video or sometimes we'll actually do a live thing if the uh, person on the worship team decides to do a live preview we can record that and, and have that come in the area of the screen uh, there so that is how we set things up so hope that uh, you might want to Try that out because you can do that directly in OBS and Easy Worship or however you're going to uh, show the feed uh, up on the projector. If you like this content, uh, please give me a like. And if you um, have some more ideas of content that I want to do, and uh, I will, if you want to subscribe, then uh, you'll be notified when I do that. So thank you so much and you have a blessed day.